What's up, everybody? Just bear with me through this slog. My voice is really hoarse. I only was able to drink one bottle of water today, and I'm still getting over my freaking allergies. But I just want you guys to know that my life is a mess. Like, usually, it is a mess, and often, that's the case. But, like, today, like, my mess just, like, exposed itself and my laptop is about to die so I will go ahead and share I don't know why I got up like I always lay down <laughs> whenever I'm on snap but my interview for my internship with design was this morning and it went really well I'm really excited about it but also super freaking nervous after my interview I came home just chillax changed my clothes and literally, like, on my way out, I was putting my lunch in my lunch box and freaking dropped my phone and my screen shattered all over the place. So immediately, I call up this You Break I Fix place right across the street from school because I had just taken my laptop there and literally just picked up my laptop yesterday because I was having issues with it and apparently the school no longer does their warranties and that's the whole reason why I freaking bought my laptop through the school is because it was... Anyways, I called that You Break I Fix place. I said, yo, y'all fix phones. They said, yeah. And I said, okay, I'll be there in 30 and I asked them how long it would take for them to fix it. They were like an hour and a half. Okay, I was like, well, I have class. I'll just drop it off and come back and pick it up. And I said, y'all take cash. Because as I was on the phone, I was checking my bank account because I just paid for all my books. Well, accidentally on Amazon, I paid with my books with my sister's card because I forgot to change the, the card on there. <laughs> So as you can probably see that my life has been a rising action of a mess up to today. But I check my bank account and I try to transfer money over and nope, like I ran out of transfers to transfer money. So that's why I had to ask them. I was like, do y'all take cash? And he was like, well, we prefer a card. And I was like, well, you see, like these are all my issues that I'm dealing with right now. And I really need y'all to accept cash. And he was like, yeah, we'll take it. So... Not only, like, was I already, like, heading towards school, I had to find a freaking ATM. And I have very minimal time in between classes. Like, my classes are back-to-back. -back. Like, I only get, like, 15-minute breaks, which is literally, like, nothing in college time. And when I got to the U Break I Fix place, it wasn't the guy that had taken my phone, but it was another guy. And he was like, weren't you just in here, like, earlier for your laptop? And I was like, yes, like, just don't even ask, like... My life is just a mess. But not only did he just say that, there was like five other people at this store at this point. Not that I really care what people think, but like, literally, like, come on, bro. Here. And they were like, are you sure? And I was just like, yes. I was like, I hope I never have to see you guys again. <laughs> Later, throughout my classes, I end up discovering that I still have to buy two more books. And I'm just like, so done with spending money. Oh, yeah, and then my boss texts me, like, at the end of my last class, which literally we didn't get out until, like, 8, which on a normal day, though, we'll get out at 8.45, which is much worse. But my boss was like, can you come in at 8 a.m.? Like, come in at 8 a.m.? Like, that means I have to wake up, get ready, and already, like, be there at 8 a.m.? Like, not even, like, waking up at 8 a.m., which is completely different from having to arrive somewhere at 8 a.m. It's already 12 and I'm ranting to you guys, so I'm not even going to get 8 hours of sleep. 